What's going on, man? A little bit sick, so you have to bear with me. You get older, you get sick easier. Maybe not sick easier, but it takes longer to heal. <clears throat> let's do a video. Let's talk about some underground tapes. Some things I want to suggest you use for uh, your consideration. Things I think you'll enjoy. <clears throat> We'll try to make it through, man. Bear with me. <clears throat> In the background, we're listening to Funerous Reduced to Sludge. This came out 2011 on Ibex Moon uh, Records. Let me pull this thing out here, man. <clears throat> Check that out. Cover art by Dusty Peterson. Death Metal out of Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Of course, you're not familiar with these guys. It's a three-piece. Jill and John McEntee. Uh, they had the drummer, Sam Izera, with them on this one. <clears throat> Super stuff. Solid death metal album. Uh, Jill's doing the vocals on here. Just outstanding. Um, John brings the riffs as usual, nothing lacking. Uh, Brad Hipple had left the band after uh, the Festering Earth album. And he used to do the vocals, but uh, <clears throat> I picked this one up at Dark Descent. If you, ha if you haven't heard it, check it out if you're a fan of uh, everything Incantation. There it is right there. There it is, my friends. Super cool stuff. Funerous. Uh, let's see. Oh, before I forget, I want to remind y'all, I uh, listened to a podcast this week. Um, usually don't do a lot of podcasts uh, because I, I like to be able to see. Who, uh, maybe maybe there's a way you can see who's talking, but mine was just um, the voices or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I digress. Liam's top ten uh, on bangers and mosh. Uh, a little over an hour, just good stuff, man. I, I had to listen to it twice where I could make sure I called it all. Liam goes through his top ten albums. I can't remember if it was, uh, you know, he, he was coming from the the uh, the stance of being the death doom metalhead, so it was death doom stuff. There were influential favorites, uh, whatnot for him. He had stuff like My Dying Bride, uh, Paradise Lost, Catatonia, Naturally, Ace Fix, Tiamat. Uh, Daylight Dies, Swallow the Sun, Hooded Minute, Menace, November Doom. Man, I wrote them all down because they were all great picks. Uh, gave a little explanation about each one. The guys on there were super cool. Entertaining, funny <clears throat> stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show y'all before we get into it too far is uh, I've got a copy of Ezra's new magazine, uh, Charred Volume 2. Uh, if you're not familiar with Ezra, he does these zines out of the UK. I mean, just absolutely crazy stuff, man. Well done. This thing is so heavy and thick. I mean, just all kind of stuff in here. Uh, he highlights bands. He's got interviews in here, um, drawings, all kind of art. He's got a, a little short comic in here, um, cookbook in here, man, everything. Stump Grinder Records is the underground label that's highlighted in here. Uh, you got interviews from bands, uh, Baptismal Rites, um, Tomb Tower interview, Penny Coffin interview, Intestinal Hex, Infested, Wallowing interview. Uh, just great stuff, man. Heavy duty, well made. And uh, sent me a note. Uh, and I don't want y'all to see that, but there's his contact info right there. Go on his big gar cartel, excuse me, <clears throat> and get you a copy before they sell out because they will sell out. Uh, he also, uh, there's the back side of that. He also sent me a couple stickers. And just like the first one, it comes with a piece of art with it that is absolutely fabulous. And the one thing that I want y'all got you guys to check out in this is Faith. 
check that out, man. Old metal miners themselves in the zine, boy. Cody said we had arrived. I said, well, I hope so, man. I hope so. Speaking of Cody, the boy slid off to a show last night without the old man because obviously I was sick. Um, undeath. Uh, Pobophilic. Well, I can't remember. Three or four bands, all of them killer. I wanted to go. Uh, since I couldn't go, uh, he decided to rub it in. That's my man from Fogo Felix. I told Cody that's who I wanted to go see. Uh, great stuff, man. And a channel I want you guys to check out if you get a chance. I've been watching this guy named Brian from Brian's Mostly Metal Updates. Uh, he's an older guy like myself. He started a YouTube channel, just uh, said he had sold his collection at some point, and he's going back through rebuying his collection, stuff he used to have and new stuff that he's picking up and uh, taking you through that journey uh, with his videos. Cool stuff, cool old guy, man, just like me, you know. Well, not that I'm a cool, but I'm an old guy, you know, but uh, good stuff to watch if you get a chance. Check out Mr. Brian. All right, let's look at some tapes, man. Some tapes I've been gathering up here for the last few weeks that I want to show you guys. Uh, the first one I want to show you guys is a split. It's Corrupted Saint and permanent disfigurement. Let me pull that out where you can check that art out. This art uh, is by Lingu Linguao, Lingua Mortis Artwork and Text Hard. Uh, I think that was it. The text was hard to read. I, I don't know, man. I'm just beside myself. But the art is absolutely cool. L-I-N-G-U-A Mortis Artwork. Lingu Lingual Mortis artwork. Anyway, what you get with this, Corrupted Saint. Uh, Cody and I are Corrupted Saint fans. The guys are from Jacksonville originally. I think they moved on to uh, Lakeland. Uh, just Chase Moody's the guitarist, and they're absolutely killer. Uh, Death Thrash. Uh, that's why I picked this up. Another reason I picked it up, it was on the Intuit label. I actually picked it up at Caligari. The cassette comes on this green shell. Like I say, uh, Corrupted Saints, a five-piece. Uh, Death Thrash, and then the Permanent Disfigurement. Uh, they're a two-piece from Massachusetts. They're classified as slam, brutal death metal, but I'm, it's not real slammy. It's, it's nothing crazy like that. Pretty good stuff. I enjoyed it. Uh, Straight-up death metal, in my opinion. But uh, that's the first one I want you guys to consider checking out. And then I picked one up from Caligari as well called Ritual Mass. Let me pull that thing out, man. It's awful dark. A dude named Keith Caves did this art. Uh, folds out something like this. The name of the release is It Ever Turns. This is a compilation. These boys play death metal. They're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, four piece. Throughout this, I'm pretty sure 10 tracks on here, a little over 33 and a half minutes of music. Active since 2016. Um, of course, Caligari did this cassette. Memento Moray did the CD, if you're a CD enthusiast. What do you get with this? Just excellent, good, solid death metal. Uh, tracks one through two, first two tracks are from their Descent, uh, Descent Sepulcher. Uh, release come out originally on cassette of Steel Bones Productions back in 2021. Then three through six on here is a board in the eyes of God uh, cassette came out by Caligari. Then the last three tracks on here are from originally self-released demo that came out in 2017. Everything remastered by Greg Wilkinson at Earhammer. Just a great great comp. I'm pretty sure you get everything they've done in one slot with that and Caligari's got them in stock I am sure. Now next is a band that I just love. I hope you guys check this one out for sure and that is Graceless. 
Uh, this is a 2022 release out on Raw Skull. They did the CD and the vinyl. And then again, my friend at Intuit did the cassette. Man, he does a great job, man. I just, when I see Intuit stuff, usually it's at Caligari. I just go ahead and grab it, man. Listen to it later. You ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be that. On this red shell, uh, if you're not familiar with Graceless, they're from the Netherlands. Four piece, you get eight tracks on here. Almost 45 minutes of music. Uh, that cover art there is by Daymorph Art. These boys have been at it since 2016, and this is their third full length. Uh, excellent death metal, excellent death metal. If I list the band members, you'd know some of the guys. They're in other projects, especially the vocalists. Just killer stuff. I've been looking for that album of theirs uh, where the vultures know your name on vinyl for it seems like ever. And every time I find a copy, man, it slips through my hands, usually because of the price. But now it's getting harder and harder to find. Excellent vocals. Mid pace for the most part. Uh, doomy passages, acoustic passages. Just well done. Graceless. If you haven't heard of these guys, check them out. Got some CDs I want to show you on the next update. And there will be a Graceless uh, CD in there as well. But uh, not the Vulture. All right. Moving on. Caustic Phlegm. Putrefying Flesh. Check that out. 2022 release. Brand new off the presses, uh, incest slash, slash necrolatry records. Put this one out. There's the cassette. Of course, this is Evan from Chess Crush Project. He does everything on here, as far as I know. Four tracks, a little over 18 minutes of music. He's from Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, kind of kicks in with a sound bite and then goes into that buzzy you know Swedish style guitar uh, tone followed with some gurgly vocals um, demo quality recording a little bit better probably on purpose uh, appeals to the nostalgia for me and the genre just great stuff man different than chest crush but different in a good way different doesn't always mean bad different just not the same Good stuff. Check it out. This is the first release under that title. Oh, Evan, the man with the plan. Now, here's one I was really excited to get. I've listened to this thing over and over and over, and I know you guys um, are used to folks who give those real good descriptions of music. I'm not one of those guys, man. I, I just, I just, I hear it different than people evidently, and I can't put the words to explain it. But this guy's a good guy, man. We've been talking to him on Instagram. Cody made friends with him. They were supposed to go to a show together and something happened. But um, check this out. Vacuous Depths. Uh, the name of the release is Corporal Humiliation. This is a 2022 release. Uh, Blood Harvest did the European cassette. Uh, Chaos did the CD. And Goat Throne for us folks here in the States. Did this cassette. I think you can get it on yellow as well. Probably go back and get a yellow one just for the collector and me. And just to support the band. There's that stuff called Carl Dahmer did the art. Uh, there's art all in the background there. You can't, maybe you can't tell. Death Metal out of Tampa, Florida. Vacuous Depths is a three-piece. You get nine tracks on here. Almost 30 minutes of music. These guys have been at it since 2017. And this, whoop, this is their debut full length. Um, musically, like I said, I'm not good at describing it, man. I hope I do you justice. You can tell that uh, he loves the... Uh, Founders of the scene there around the Tampa, Tampa area, the Central Florida area, death metal scene. Uh, but there's more to it than that. Uh, to my ear, you get some South American tinges, maybe some Mexican death metal influences. 
Um, he, he's he's full on man. He's passionate about his music. You can tell that if you want to go watch some live clips of him playing on YouTube, they're available there. Um, just great stuff. Check it out if you haven't. Goat Throne's got them. If you're in the states, Blood Harvest. If you're abroad, uh, super stuff. And since I was a fan, oh, let me show you some other stuff that came with it when it came. Um, there's a sticker. This came from Goat Throne, naturally. A vacuous Depth sticker. I think they got some t-shirts available. A Goat Throne sticker. And then, of course, their, uh, their release postcard. Super stuff, man. I'm just, I'm just, man, I love to see these young guys getting their stuff out. And since I'm a fan and try to be supportive, I went back and did what I thought was going to be impossible, and I found the 2017 demo. <laughs> I don't think my man in the band thought I was going to be able to pull it off. I didn't either. It folds out like this. Cool stuff. Cool art. Stephen Bauer did that art. Three tracks on this one. Uh, excuse me, six tracks on this one. A little over 17 minutes of music. Uh, this was a three piece also, but the, the original uh, drummer and bassist on this one uh, are not the same as on the new one. Uh, both of them are very good. This, this one's more demo quality. Uh, cool stuff, if you're looking for a copy of this, good luck. It came out uh, 2019 on Goat Throne as well, but uh, this one's a little harder to find. I guess the stars lined up for me that day, and I was able to grab one. But uh, super, super stoked to be able to pull it off. But uh, Vacuous Death, Tampa, Florida. If you haven't heard from them guys, uh, do yourself a favor and give them a shot. I think you will enjoy it. I think you will for sure. All right. Let's see here. I got my stuff out of order here. Just a few more. It's Saturday morning here. I won't hold you guys up long. Um, Alucard, I think is how you say it. Tepes, Tepes. I don't know, man. There it is right there. You you say it however you want. You buy it, you pronounce it how you want. This one is out on Stump Grinder Records. You know I love old Stumpy, man. Uh, there is the tape 2022 release uh, oozing oh no, I got it upside down oozing illustrations did this art you can see that there great stuff um, maybe you can see the line up there Joss Allen guitars Matt Parker bass Brendan Dean vocals man that, that just said sold to me right there Labeled as vampiric, brutal death metal. I don't know about all that. It starts out with a little instrumental ditty on the first tune there, and then pummels you with that open track, opening track. Super heavy guitars, as you would expect from Joss. Great bass, uh, nasty vocals. Uh, of course, Matt Parker did the bass with uh, Joss's other band, Body Asphyx Science, Asphyxiation Science, I should say. Joss did the guitars and drums on here. I'm assuming they're programmed. Maybe not. I don't know. I've never seen a picture of Joss playing drums, but uh, just for the sake of argument, say they're programmed. Uh, Brendan Dean of Fumes, Gut Void, Puke Wraith uh, did the vocals on here. So it's great stuff. Stumpy's got them. Go get them. Brighton, England's where Joss is from. I, I think Mr. Parker's is from there too, but. Uh, uh, we'll keep Mr. Dean over here in the States. All right, this next one coming in one of these little fancy bags here. A stump grinder release as well. Uh, comes wrapped in this slip case with that cool art from Moises Pimentel. Pimentel, I guess. This is Deconsecration. The name of their album is Crip Lurker. Let me get this thing out where you can see it. Twenty twenty two release, like I said, on Stump Grinder Records, Death Metal out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, five piece, you get eight tracks on this thing, almost thirty-seven minutes of music. 
comes on this cool silver or gray shell. Uh, they had a demo in 2020, a split in 2021, and this is their long-awaited, by me anyway, uh, full-length debut. If you enjoyed the demo, you're going to love this. Same musicians, has a few samples here and there, uh, just thick, heavy slab of death metal done in the Pacific Northwest fashion. Uh, super stuff, man. You got to check this out. Vinyl is available through the band on Van Camp. Van Camp. Mine's on the way. Uh, the art on the cover of it is worth the price of the album. They're $20, man. A lot of these bands now is on $28, $29 a piece for their, for their album. And I'm sure they're worth it, but these guys, $20, $3 shipping from the Pacific Northwest to Florida. That's just about as far apart as you can get. Super cool stuff, man. Uh, the vinyl's out on Chaos Records. Like I said, Stumpy did this tape. The CD's on Chaos as well. If you're a CD uh, enthusiast, they're on the Bandcamp site as well. Cool stuff. Deconsecration, Crypt Lurker. If you haven't checked it out, it is a banger. A banger, my friends. Put this back in this sack or this sack will be gone. My wife will suck it up in the vacuum cleaner and I'll get blamed for that. Three more and we're, we're, we are done, 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 my friends. Let me have a little sip of this coffee. Oh, what about my resilient shirt that the vinyl is if it hadn't been already released soon to be released you can pick those up at um, Adirondack Black Mass here in the States I don't know who's going to be handling them overseas but uh, some purple vinyl man looks great here you go Morbid Messiah Demoni Demoniac Paroxysm Paroxysm Man, I'm just learning to talk. You know, in case y'all can't tell, I'm, I told y'all before. I'm, look at that art, man. You know, you know you you've arrived, man. When you got Mark Riddick doing your art, brother, that is cool. But I love Mark Riddick art, don't y'all? Death metal out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Four piece, nine tracks, 35 and a half minutes of music or so. These guys have been at it. Well, guys and gal have been at it since 2015, and this is their debut full length. Man, I want to get this thing on vinyl so bad I can taste it. Young guys and gal having a good time, 26, 27 years old, somewhere in there. Uh, great music, absolutely killing it. Female drummer, man, she just pounding. I'm telling you, this is good stuff. Check them out if you have it. Mexican death metal. Uh, you can't go wrong, man. Love the Mexican culture. Love the Mexican people. Got Mexican friends, man. Just great people. Great music. Just all around. No lose situation. Get you some of that. Future Darian. Where did I get that at? Oh, I picked that up at Rotted Life if y'all want to get y'all some of that. Of course, those other two I picked up directly from Stumpy. Uh, lacking man putridarium and the name of this is morbification and this is their 2022 demo <clears throat> they've got a 2021 uh, demo as well this was morbification the 2021 is putrefication uh, I think head splits got some copies left I was gonna get one the other night and was in some messaging about getting it some other stuff and I just finally fell asleep man I'm I'm decrepit, brother. I'm 2022 on head split. Parker Owen done this art. Let me get it out where you can check it out. Check that out. Four piece, three tracks, a little over 17 minutes of music. These boys have been at it since 2020, and this is their second demo. Heavy, heavy thick rumbling bass and drums man thick guitars nasty vocals 
muddy production just like you would want out on head split it's a banger it's a winner all the way around uh, I thought I had the 2021 demo I don't have it I need to go get it I'm going to order it as soon as we get off of this video here but um, Putridarium I love to get these guys demo get in on the ground floor I'm scared they're going to come to town one day and I ain't going to have this stuff they're going to have a full length and uh, I'm going to be missed out and the stuff ain't going to be able to be picked up Pick that one up at Rotted Life as well. Check them out, Putridarium. Last one, and I'm through rambling. Hapless Wretch. Uh, this is volume two. I've had volume one uh, ever since it came out. I've been looking for volume two. Um, my man at Hapless Wretch told me where it was at. It was overseas, and I was too cheap to pay the shipping and knew it would come crushed. But finally, Life After Death got some copies in there is the black cassette Andy Sloan did this artwork here black and death metal out of London England uh, hapless wretch I don't know his name uh, I did know it but I can't call it goes by hapless wretch on the album he does it all on here all five tracks 12 and a half minutes of music um, like I said, they had the volume one last year and then they had a split uh, this year with Dawn Treader. Program drums, but well done. Death metal, it's, it's classified if I didn't say as black and death metal. Um, the blackened part is mostly in the vocals and they are well done. The drums are programmed well. Uh, guitar work, bass work, everything is good on here. Uh, glad to be able to find this it's out on Molten Face Records I found this one at Life After Death uh, Molten Face Records out of Denmark cool stuff man I, I'm going to quit rambling I think I can't hold you guys attention very long because I'm boring by nature but I hope this stuff is exciting uh, to you it is to me man I just, I just love it well, do, I told Liam the other day I was going to do some things different in the upcoming year. Man, I've got to quit buying all these tapes and stuff. I, I just, uh, I just can't afford it. But I, I just, I just, I just love them, man. I just love them. I'm, I'm, I'll be 55 this coming year, man. I'm, I'm uh, setting my ways, and uh, this is, this is, this is my thing, man. This is what I love to do. I love hearing these young guys. Uh, do their thing playing music uh, all kinds of music man I just been on a, a death metal scene death metal seems to be the uh, genre where I fit in Cody's more into the black metal stuff man but uh, uh, these guys man I find them all to be approachable you go to the shows man they they treat you like their long lost friends and I'm sure other genres do that as well but this is where I'm at this is where I'm staying I hope y'all enjoy it Go check out Ezra's new magazine, uh, Charge number two. Go check out the podcast. My dear friend Liam is on. I can't find the thing now where I wrote it down, but uh, Mosh, Bangers and Mosh is the name of it. I listened to it on, uh, Liam sent me a link, but I think I listened to it on Spotify. Check it out if you haven't. I'm gonna quit rambling. Funerous playing in the background. Just killer stuff, man. Hope y'all have a great weekend, man. See y'all next week.